Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. This is the press conference for the squad announcement for the upcoming Friendly International against France. For members of the media that are joining in, we kindly ask that you put your microphone on mute. And also from the video aspect of things, if you are not properly attired, we kindly ask as well that you turn off your video so as not to disturb others in this press conference. Again, thank you very much for your presence. It is greatly appreciated as we look forward to what lies ahead for our senior women's national team, not only next week, but for the remainder of this calendar year as well, and what lies ahead for next year. Before we get some opening remarks from head coach of the senior women's national team, Hubert Bosley, firstly, we just want to touch on what lies ahead. And of course, next week, Friday, it's a friendly international against France, of course, an, uh, a country and an opponent that uh, will live long in the memory of Jamaicans as Jamaica's first ever point at a women's World Cup came against the French. And of course, we know our first World Cup appearance for men and women came in France as well. So great memories in that aspect of things. And of course, in November, November 29 and December 2, two friendly internationals on home soil against Banyana Banyana, that is the South Africa women's national team. And that will be at November 29 and December 2, 2025, an exciting year, not only for the men, but for the women as well, as the women kickstart proceedings for the 2027 FIFA Women's World Cup qualifiers. Again, similarly to the 2023 format, it's a 32 team tournament. CONCACAF has four spots and two teams will head to the intercontinental playoffs. So that's some basic information so that everybody's aware. So firstly, let's get into some uh, opening remarks from our head coach, uh, Busby. Coach Busby, good afternoon to you, sir. I hope you're doing well. Let's just start off with how the last couple of months have been uh, since the Brazil camps in the summer, uh, what has taken place. And of course, uh, many would know as well the similarities, of course, with you and uh, Coach McLaren having, having represented uh, Oxford United in England as well. You know, how has it been meeting him as well? And of course, what the last few months have been you, for you and the rest of the technical staff of the women's national team? Yes, thanks, Simon. Afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you taking the times out of your busy schedules to, to join us here this afternoon. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to the, this match versus France since the last time we got together in um, Brazil in, 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 in May and in, into June. Um, you know, the players have, have kind of settled into their, to their clubs. It's been an extended break within, um, you know, due to the Olympics. So when we kind of last time got together, a lot of the players were coming off of um, – or just coming off a vacation and coming back to get ready to play. So it was a little different playing rhythm to us. And, um, and look, we, we knew, you know, going into those games against Brazil that they were going to be tough matches. They were getting ready to play in the Olympics. And we saw how great they did in the Olympics as well. And even with uh, their new sort of cycle that they begun. So we will continue with our cycle. This is all in preparation for the World Cup in 2027. We're excited to be playing these matches. I think if you would have said, you know, three years ago that um, the likes of Brazil and, and France are reaching out to play matches against Jamaica on a regular basis, yes, there might be some revenge factor in those in those um, in, in, in in those teams wanting to play. But overall, it's just a really a testament to how far this program has come, and more importantly, really how far we still need to go as well. So as we kind of set up this, this chart of this course in terms of how we're going to get to this World Cup, one of the things that we really wanted to do is, is ensure that we are deliberate in the games that we're playing and trying to play as many top 10, top 20 opponents as possible to ensure that we are, we are tested heading into World Cup qualifiers and arguably, you know, one of the top uh, confederations um, you know, in the world when it comes to women's football. So, you know, a lot of work has been gone into it. And um, obviously we're looking forward to this camp um, and looking forward to taking a look at some um, players and in, embedding some, even some new staff into the, 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 into the program as well. So I'll kind of touch base on that a little bit later on in our, our um, discussion here, but um, yeah, thanks for, thanks for joining us here again. 
Yep. So before we unveil the the squad list, coach, just wanted to get your reactions uh, briefly. You know, persons would have been aware that you were uh, in England recently. What was that experience in like keeping tabs of our players apply their trade in Europe? What was that experience and also mingling with with the staff as well on the men's side of things? Yes, yeah, so we had a really uh, positive trip uh, last month. Uh, our assistant coach and analyst Sanford Kerman and I made a trip to the UK to check in on players as well as speak with new prospective players, speak, met with a few clubs. Um, obviously, we had a chance to to view some really good games. Um, so obviously, uh, Bunny played live in uh, at the Emirates uh, on opening day. Uh, obviously, Drew and, and, and Becky as well on the same day, making two games in one. Uh, and then just speaking with some players and trying to get them games. Uh, we were able to go up. Uh, Bunny hosted us up in, in Manchester for her Champions League game, which was really good. It was great to see her uh, open her Champions League account on the day as well. So, yeah, it's been overall all positive. Um, and, and while over there, I had a chance to to sit down with the Ben staff and, and discuss in ways in terms of how we can continue to grow collectively and collaboratively in terms of making sure that our, our programs are the best in the region. So, um, overall, very positive. And, um, yeah, may the... Uh, May the collaboration and, and the good workflows continue. All right, wonderful. So for members of the media, momentarily you will be able to see on your screen the, the squad for the match against France. So what we're going to ask now, Coach Busby, is that you go through together uh, some of the new faces so that persons are aware and some of those conversations and um, how excited you are looking forward to these upcoming matches. Yeah, thanks, Simon. I think, first of all, obviously, we're, we're missing uh, a lot or most of our college players. Like, as I alluded to before, our pool has is, is grown exponentially, you know, to close to 60 players. Um, you know, the issue we have with our college kids, over 20-odd players at the Division One level, they're in the midst of their college season right now. Um, so it's very difficult to get them released for that as the NC FIFA has no jurisdiction over the NCAA. But more importantly, we want to ensure that the players uh, are not being put in a, a situation where they have to choose between staying in school and come. They all want to represent their country, but we also have a really good relationship with those colleges. And we want to respect the idea that a lot of these schools are looking to compete for a national championship. So that sort of eludes most of the players from the college, unless they've had a previous sort of conversation with their college coach and, and us saying that, um, you know, that that would be okay. So in this squad, um, look, obviously the most notable one, uh, obviously is, is, is uh, Bunny. Um, we spoke last week. Uh, she has an issue that kind of limits her travel with, with, her, with her passport. Um, so she's going to try to look to get that rectified next week. Um, so that's why she's not she's not in the the squad. Um, and similarly with um, the likes of, of Kanye. So hopefully we get that resolved and we can have them for the for the next window. Um, but again, provides an opportunity for us to bring in some some new players to evaluate within this this phase of the program. Um, so we're really excited. Uh, we've spoken to, Taylor Hines a few years ago and, um, you know, the captain of Liverpool, we're, we're glad that she's in our squad to make up, um, you know, to, to come in and embed within what we're trying to do. Lulu Jarvis is another young player that we've been monitoring. Um, we just made a move from, from Brighton to Plymouth at 20 years of age. She's another up and coming player. The same with Rihanna Blades, who was on the books of Chelsea, who's just moved to Burnley. Um, I credit a lot of these players who've, you know, you know, it might be looked at dropping down a level, but they're looking to invest in themselves and to play as opposed to necessarily, um, you know, stunt their their growth and development by by staying made what would be considered a, a bigger club, but not necessarily getting the minutes that they need. Um, and as we know, that's vitally important um, coming into international football is that players are playing meaningful minutes week in, week out, which is good to see that all our players are doing so now. And that's credit to all of them and all the hard work that they've put in to, to be a regular in their, their team. So, so may that continue. Um, Natasha Thomas is someone who's, who's kind of reached out. We've been monitoring her well. Um, so we're looking to bring her in and see how she fits in. Uh, Davia Richards uh, has come through the program, um, you know, is, is, is shown well with, with, with Fraser's whip. 
um, through all those different experiences. We're looking to see how she she uh, beds in well with this group as well. And and we continue to evaluate all the players um, from the Gold Cup. Again, a lot of those are in college all the way through up until Brazil. And uh, we'll continue to do so as we um, head into the South Africa matches. All right. All right. Thank you very much, coach. Much appreciated there. As you can see on your screen, folks, the, the squad on your screen, what we ask at this point in time, please raise your hand, raise your hand at this point. Any questions you have towards coach Busby and I will indicate uh, your presence and then we can commence in this question and answer segment. All right. So we can uh, proceed in terms of the, the questions. Please raise your hand. And then we can be able to, to get into the questions based on you seeing the screen. So let's start things off with Matthew Mackinoff Jones. So Matthew, go ahead and pose your question to Coach uh, Busby. Hi, good afternoon, Coach Busby. Uh, we know that Kiki Van Zenten, she had a season ending injury. Uh, I just want to know if you've had any conversations with her in regards to her update, uh, in regards to an update from her. And what are her prospects um, looking forward in the in the future in terms of her her reemergence into the the regular girls fold? Yeah, that's a good question. Look, uh, we're we're very fortunate. Um, our um, high performance coach, strength and uh, agility conditioning coach, um, she actually works uh, for the Houston Dash, so she sees Kiki every day, and so obviously she provides in any updates as they come. But she's she's back on the field now, I think running, um, she's still a ways away, but, uh, she's making great progress and she, she's been fantastic. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been, um, good to, to get those sort of updates, uh, just more importantly, you know, she's doing well, um, you know, from a mental perspective as well, and she's working her way back. So, uh, yeah, we hope to have her, uh, back, uh, if, if not for the next camp might be a little bit too soon still um but uh, definitely heading into the new year so yeah she's making she's making progress for sure thank you very much matthew appreciate that let's go to dre you can go ahead good afternoon coach this is andre from dre anywhere the sports um so my question is if you guys are hearing me clearly yes go ahead go ahead we can hear you Okay, so my question is, with these two friendlies, um, how important is the result and what are you looking for from these two games? And also, secondly, with the FSU team, because I follow them here in the state, we had three reggae girls starting in the starting 11 in their match yesterday, which I'm very optimistic about seeing that chemistry transferred over into the national team um what are your thoughts on that also yeah, yeah coach, well, let me just interject for a second coach just a clarification dre it's one match against france it's not two the two matches is against south africa you can go ahead coach yeah yeah thanks sam that's what i was going to allude to as well so yeah thanks for the uh question uh dre good question um as far as as far as the fsu players concerned um like i said each each week um, just to kind of give you a background, each week, uh, each member of my staff, uh, as well as myself, you know, we're assigned to look at each department, whether it be defenders, midfielders, forwards, goalkeepers, and we monitor them and we update it in a, a uh, you know, sort of database that we have to make running notes on each and every week. So, you know, every single player who is playing college or every single player who's, who's playing overseas, we have a running uh, information about how they are. We watch them, we, we review them, and that's how we make our decisions. So, yeah, we get every week, we get a chance to watch FSU tw twice. They're doing extremely well. Obviously, they, they, you know, in a competitive conference at the end, they've dropped some some games recently, but um, but they're all, ex you know, doing doing extremely well and, and, and playing significant minutes and contributing, as you, as you alluded to, to a team that's looking to um, – you know, compete for a national championship. Um, and yeah, that chemistry is always going to bode well because uh, there's familiarity there. Um, so, you know, having taken what they have and, and sort of Im embedding that into the group when they when they eventually come back will be good as well. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to see what sort of run they go on into the NCAA tournament. 
Yeah, Coach. Andrea had asked an earlier question about the expectation for this game, so you can touch on yeah. that. Yeah, thanks for as well. The the expectations really is for us to, you know, continue to work on our playing model. I think it's important for us to to also continue to to build on our playing principles so that we we can ensure that you know we're we're flexible, you know, in and out of possession. Uh, we want to be a, a team that continues to to use and and has been known for a good defensive base. Um, so the most important thing is yes, results are are always the most the main thing at, at senior international play, but the longer term, the picture is for us to be successful come next time this year when we're in October in our first round of qualifying for the World Cup. Um, I think that's really the the main goal is for us to be, um, you know, to be peaking at that sort of of time heading into those qualifiers. So yeah, that's sort of the objectives of this match. So we continue to build on what we're looking to do in a year's time. Okay. Any other questions from members of the media? Please raise your hand and indicate to Coach Busby. In the meantime, Coach, there was a question online in relation to members of staff for the Reggae Girls. Is there anything you want to touch on that with updates, additions on that element? Yeah, so the two uh, additions we've brought in, I, I kind of alluded to one, um, our SAS, SNC coach, high-performance uh, coach, will be Renee Balconi. Uh, Renee comes from us from the the Houston Dash. Uh, I've known Renee for years when she's worked at LSU uh, on on staff there, the women's side with 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 my wife. So I know her very well, um, and we're really pleased to have her involved with the program. And like I said, she's working in a professional women's environment, so she'll be joining us for this camp. And the other one is a, a name very familiar to everybody in Jamaica. Um, we always give, kind of give them the gears every time we're on a on a call, but um, Dion Burton is coming on involved to be our um, one of the assistant coaches as well and primarily work with our forwards. As you can see, we've got an incredibly talented group and led by one of the best strikers in the world at the moment. Um, so why not have them come in and, and work with, uh, obviously, uh, a player who's played in the Premiership, knows the league, he's there as well, which is a big bonus for us because it gets Dion to go and see some of the games um, in person when he can, um, when he's when he's not coaching uh, with the U twenty U twenty ones at West Brom. So um, we're excited to bring him on board and all his expertise. And of course, uh, you know he's so excited to be back and, and giving back to the country that um, that's given him so much as well. So um, we're excited to have him on on, on staff. Um, Coach Gilbert will be there as well. Uh, Andrew Sewell and uh, Sanford Carabin, who I alluded to earlier, rounds out the technical team. All right, thank you for that. Uh, Livingston Scott from the Gleena, you can proceed. Go ahead. Um, yes, coach, just wanted to know how that um, agreement came about with Burton and if he will be on the bench with you for this coming game um, against France. Yeah, no, listen, obviously a lot of the, the, the old boys, I've known Burton from back in the days and, and I saw him actually last year and uh, I hadn't seen him for or spoke from over over ten years. But I saw him last year, and we kind of remained in contact uh, since then. And um, yeah, you know, when I when we were kind of reappointed, when I was reappointed, we we spoke about some things, and um, and then I just asked them. I said, "Hey, listen, one of the things I really want to to improve on is, you know, is in terms of our playing models, is for us to be a little bit better in front of goal. You know, like I said, one of the things for for us as a staff." is to ensure like we have one of the best players in the world and, and, you know, scoring goals is important, but it's not just one people creating goals, creating opportunities. Um, and so, you know, in speaking with him, I asked him if he wanted to be on, on board, to come on board with the, with the new staff. And yeah, he was excited to come in and, and, and be a part of the group. And last month when we were, in the UK, looking at players, Sanford and I, he, he accompanied us to a lot of games as well, come, kind of getting to know some of the players and getting to know some of the players in the pool, which obviously helps a lot with him being in the uh, UK Pleasant uh, currently. So, yeah, we're excited to have him on board and uh, excited to have him back, uh, you know, with, with Jamaica and being on the bench with us um, against France. He could get an idea of is he qualified coaching wise? Could I, could we get an idea of what his qualification is? 
Yeah, he's, he's an A-licensed coach who works at West Brom's U21. Um, he's been on the bench with the first team as well. So, um, yeah, he's um, he's a UEFA A-licensed coach. So um, he's, he's, he's definitely more than uh, more than qualified for sure. All right. Thank you very much, Livy. Is Do we have any more questions from members of the media? Jason, you had your microphone open. Did you have something you wanted to say? Okay. He says, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. All right. Members of the media, thank you very much. We greatly appreciate you being here. Just a gentle reminder, the fixture is next week, Friday. That's the, the 25th. 2.05 Jamaica time is, is the kickoff. And this recording as well will be sent to the media group quite shortly. Again, we want to thank Coach Busby for his time and safe journey towards France for the upcoming friendly. And of course, we'll provide details in relation to the South Africa friendlies when the media accreditation window opens up as well. So to all members of the media, thank you very much for being here. Have a safe and pleasant rest of the, the day. Enjoy the weekend. And of course, with the public holiday on Monday as well, continue to be safe as well. So thank you very much, everybody, and take care. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.